I know it, this wasn't on the agenda, but I'm wondering if anybody could speak to this. Why do people do this? Why do people sexually assault, aside from having been sexually assaulted? Do we know anything about why? Uh, why this happens, why you would do this to your child, why you would do this to, why in war situations you, that, you know, it, it doesn't seem to be a military tactic at this point, right? You'd go in and, and terrorize a population so that you can go take the next town or whatever it is, you know, easily and they'll run away. Uh, so that's, as nasty as that is, that's very straightforward, right? But why? It's sort of like doing it to yourself if you do it to your kid in a way. It's sort of, sort of like hitting yourself. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe you don't see the child as yourself. Um, there's a small percentage of abusers that are what we'd consider pedophiles, people that have arousal towards, or they get sexually aroused by children. Um, but that's not the majority of people that do it. Um, there's a variety of different problems that cause people to abuse children. and. Um, you know, often we're talking about someone who's not a biological child. It could be like a step parent or a, another relative. Um, and access is a big um, issue for most people. So it's just sort of the, the children that are near them. And I've heard of people doing it out of um, anger, it's, you know, displaced anger, um, just other problems that they're having in their lives. Adult offenders often do have some history of abuse or neglect in childhood. It may not be sexual abuse. But it is uh, a childhood that is somewhat devoid of boundaries, um, models, uh, not having models of respect, not having a healthy family relationship. It's hard to know exactly why. And I have to admit that children ask us all the time in the course of therapy, why did this happen? And on one occasion, I tried to answer that question in a, in a way that was probably much too sophisticated and probably wasn't accurate because we really don't know why people sexually abuse children. So when I realized this, this little girl wasn't understanding me and she was sort of fading out as I was trying to explain, I asked her, why do you think men sexually abuse children? And she said the simplest thing to me. She said, because they want to. <laughs> and I thought it a, for a very young child, keeping it simple, um, because we really don't know the answers. We really don't know the answers. And the one thing that we do know is it, is it is never the fault or responsibility of a child. That adults um, and older children know what is right and what is not right in terms of sexual behavior. And um, unfortunately, children don't always know that. Can we talk for a second about why it's used as such a, uh, why it's so prevalent in war situations? And, and, and the, the invading army uh, hurting the people that, met, you know, that happen to live in that area, um, whether it's a st strategy or whether it's just leftover anger, leftover hatred, they're not people, uh, whatever it is. It's a, it's a variety of different reasons and, 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 and a variety of different scenarios. So it could be, you know, the army that's coming through, it's invading, it's searching for, let's say, the men to take or to kill and raping the, 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 the women, the, the children, the girls in the homes. It can be also oftentimes what we're seeing in detention. So when um, men and women have been arrested as, let's say, being part of the opposition, taken to prisons, detention centers, and they're um, being raped um, and, and, and many other means of sexual violence and torture used, there it can be used oftentimes for trying to get confessions mm -hmm. for humiliation, for sending a message um, to the rest of the family, to that village, to the opposition. This is what we will do to you and your, your women or your men or your boys and girls. Um, it's, it's punishment, absolutely, um, for, oppo for opposing them. Um, and in terms of the, the home invasions, oftentimes it is humiliation. It is done in front of family members in front of others. Um, it is, it, once again, sending a message. Um, not, we can do this to your women or to your children, and you cannot do anything about it or protect it. Um, punishment. And sure, there are times where it is about opportunity, where it's a very insecure environment. There's always some different power dynamic. You have a military or a militia with weapons and civilians that don't. 
usually the men either have fled or are fighting or have been taken away, so you have a more vulnerable population that's left with men coming in with weapons. Um, and um, it's, it's a dynamic, unfortunately, that in, we've seen in, another, in many conflicts in recent years. Um, rape has become a part of it, whether that's in DRC, that's in Libya, that's in Syria, um, that was in Bosnia during the war, many different places. Um, and it's to, we see it predominantly to women and girls, but we're also seeing it happen to men and boys as well.